This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Chain with another PowerPoint tip to help you make happy hour. Double checking your PowerPoint numbers in Excel to make sure you keep your job. And I'll show you how to quickly do this with numbers in a table, a string of numbers in an individual text box or shape, and a special bonus trick, double checking numbers that are spread out across individual text boxes or shapes, which is a pretty cool trick. And here in PowerPoint, I'll start with the easiest of the examples, a simple table. And if I select my table, you can see the table tools tab up there in my ribbon. And just to prove to you why you always wanna double check your numbers in PowerPoint, notice that if I change one of these numbers, I'll change this to 600,000 and click away, notice that the total at the bottom doesn't update. So there is no calculation engine here in PowerPoint, which is why if you're the keeper of your deck, you always wanna double check your numbers. And I'll control Z to undo that adjustment. To double check the numbers, I'll first select this entire table of information, control C to copy, alt tab over to an Excel sheet that I already have open. I'll click into cell B5, hit control V to paste. I'll hit control and I'll hit M for destination theme so the formatting adheres to this Excel sheet. Now from here, I'll just click into the fake total row here at the bottom. I'll use my shortcut, alt plus equal sign to input a sum function, hit enter. And there you can see that my total was wrong. It was off by about 400,000 units. So not something that you wanna discover after you've submitted your proposal. So always check your numbers. Now that I have the correct total, I'll just select the total, control C to copy, alt tab back to PowerPoint. I'll select the incorrect total here at the bottom of my table. Control V to paste, which brings the text over. I don't like the formatting, so I'll hit Control for more paste options. Hit T for text only, which brings the text over into the same formatting as my previous total. So that's double checking your numbers in a table using Excel. Now let's move on to a text box or a shape. And here on the next slide, you can see that I have the same numbers all set up, except this time, instead of being in a table, they're all within an individual shape or text box. Now looking at the total at the bottom, you already know that it's wrong, but if you didn't, the question is how do you pull the numbers out of this text box or shape and double check them in Excel? And the answer is using the text to columns command in Excel. But first we need to get there. So I'll control C to copy my information, alt tab to move back to Excel. I'll click into E5, control V to paste, control and M for destination theme. Now to split this column between the text and the numbers, I actually need to copy this longer dash that came over from PowerPoint, Control C to copy. I'll hit escape, and then from the data tab up here in my ribbon, I wanna move to text to columns. I want delimited, which is the default option, so I'll select next. And I wanna break this on other, and Control V to paste that longer dash in from PowerPoint. You can see down there in my data preview, the text and numbers separate, and I'll just select finish which breaks my numbers out into their own individual column. I'll control B to bold, click into my fake total, and hit alt equal sign to input the sum function, hit enter, and there again you can see that my total was wrong. I'll select the correct total, control C to copy, alt tab back to PowerPoint, select my total here at the bottom, control V to paste, control T for text to bring the formatting back over correctly. So that's double checking your numbers from a single text box or shape using Excel. Now let's move on to the bonus trick, checking your numbers across multiple text boxes or shapes. So I'll hit page down. And here on the next slide, I have the same numbers all set up, except this time, if I click and drag, you can see that all of the numbers, and I'll control shift drag to the right, are each in their own individual shape or text box, which makes adding them up more difficult. And this would actually stump most people. And the way to pull this off is with the Picture Layout Smart Art tool. So first, I need to grab a picture. I'll just grab one, control drag to the right. I'm gonna select all of my shapes and text boxes, including the picture. From the Picture Tools Format tab, I'll select Picture Layout. I'll select the layout. It doesn't really matter which one, which creates a bit of a mess down here. But watch what happens if I convert this back to text. You can see all of my numbers are now in an individual text box. Now they're a little bit disorganized, but since I'm just summing this up, it doesn't really matter. So I'll Alt H U to take away the bullet, Control C to copy, Alt Tab, back to Excel. I'll click into I5, Control V to paste, Control M for destination theme. I'll click in here at the bottom, Alt equal sign to enter the sum function, enter, and there you can see the total all over again. I'll select the total, Control C to copy, Alt Tab, 
click into my text box down below, control V to paste, control T for text, escape, and get rid of this extra text box here on the right. And that's the bonus trick, how to double check your numbers in PowerPoint when they're spread across multiple shapes or text boxes using Excel. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.